Hello, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another Get to Know video for you. And we're going to talk about the heart. Do you know the number one cause of death around the world is heart disease? And I know that some of you watching me right now are thin. You think, oh, I am really healthy. I don't have any issues with my heart. It comes down to this. A couple thoughts that I want to refresh your mind with. Your heart's a muscle. It beats 100,000 times a day. The number one cause of heart disease that I've seen from my experience is inflammation. What happens is those blood vessels in and around your body get inflamed. How do you know if you're inflamed or not? With a simple blood test that you could request from your healthcare provider, or if you want, you can even go to our website, we can send you a kit. It's called a CRP, C-reactive protein. It gives me a little bit of an idea of what's happening inside of your body when it comes to inflammation. Now, the key is if you are inflamed, how do you stop the inflammation? Here's what you need to do. You really want to start focusing on eating more vegetables during the daytime. And I'm going to tell you the real key is you want to make sure you're eating that half apple every day. Because see, that half a red apple, it has what we call the highest ORAC value. That has to do with minimizing inflammation and free radicals inside of your body. I eat a half a red apple every day. And I'm gonna suggest you might wanna do this also. Have your LDL cholesterol tested. I know there's so much controversy about cholesterol and people get confused if their cholesterol is elevated. I want you to know from my experience that LDL cholesterol is important to me because it tells me inflammation. If your LDL cholesterol is elevated, that means it's higher than the midline of your lab normal, I know that you're probably eating too many sweets. And this is what I'm gonna encourage you to do. I want you to start taking a marine-based oil. In our practice, we use a product that's sourced from anchovy and sardine oil. Because the oil literally puts the fire out inside of your body. Now there is a blood test that you can do called an essential fatty blood spot test where you just take a specimen from your little finger and you put it on the blotter and we send it to a lab. That lab will tell me how much, this is a very important fat, EPA you have. Your EPA is a long chain fatty acid that helps put the fire out inside of your body. I want you to avoid margarine. I want you to avoid canola oil. I want you to avoid soy oil. I like you to limit your safflower and your sunflower oil because those oils cause inflammation. And this is a really a very important point. In Dr. Bob's Trans Fat Survival Guide, we talk about oils. And those oils are critically important to put the fire out in your body. So the number one thought is what's causing the fire and the inflammation? From my experience, it's trans fat, it's sugar. And I would also avoid ice cream because it causes inflammation. The blood test that I encourage you to have is called CRP, C-reactive protein. Now some of you maybe have had your homocysteine levels checked and they were elevated and you don't know what to do. What we encourage our patients to do is to you use B vitamins, B as in Bravo. The B vitamins help lower that homocysteine level, but you know what I have also found? People who have elevated homocysteine levels also have subpar thyroid function. So you can have your thyroid checked, a TSH, a T3, and a T4. Those are blood tests. And if they're low, if they're the low end of normal, you want to supplement them accordingly. But I'm gonna give you the last important secret when it comes to heart health. Are you ready for it? I know you are. You're waiting with bated breath. It's congested or compromised liver function. See, if you have a bigger tummy, the blood has to flow through your liver on the way to your heart. And if your liver is compromised, or if it's not allowing the blood to flow through, it's gonna impair the blood going into your heart. So if you have a larger tummy, ladies, your waist should not be greater than 35 inches. Gentlemen, your waist should not be greater than 40. You wanna get those numbers down. 
two teaspoons of uh, marine oil would help every day. Minimize sugar, drink more water, and eat your Dr. Bob's ABCs. A half red apple every day, third cup of beets, one medium or four or five baby carrots. I know that if you do this, you'll have great heart health. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.